A Chicago street was just named one of the coolest in the world. Ravinia's 2024 lineup is out. Shoppers at a Wisconsin Dollar General were greeted with a surprising note after the store's entire staff walked out at the same time. And one of the city's most iconic traditions is happening this weekend. I'm Evan Kasami, and this is The Rundown. So, have you walked down one of the coolest streets in the entire world? According to a new ranking from Time Out, Chicago's 18th Street in Pilsen is one of the 30 coolest streets around the globe, all thanks to its food, music, and art scene, and because it's a hub to the city's Mexican-American community. It was one of only four U.S. streets to make the ranking and came in at number 21 on the list. Calling all you wine, cheese, and music lovers out there, get your lawn chairs and charcuterie boards ready because Ravinia's 2024 music lineup is out. Some big names made the list this year, like Nora Jones, The Beach Boys, Ben Platt, and a whole lot more. Tickets go on sale in April, but you can head on over to the link in our bio to check out the full list of performers. And that's not all. Pitchfork also announced its performance lineup for this summer, including Alanis Morissette, Carly Rae Jepsen, and many others. Okay, so here's a good one for you. The entire staff of a Wisconsin Dollar General store quit their job at the same time, but not before leaving several notes on the doors for customers. Notes said the team walked away due to lack of appreciation, being overworked, and being underpaid. There was also a letter to the owners, which read in part, we must take a stand for the community and not allow corporate greed to continue preventing people in need of the help they need and could receive. Policies, processes, and procedures need to change. And it is a big weekend here in Chicago. We're talking the Chicago River Dying. The iconic tradition happens every year for St. Patrick's Day. But if you can't make it in person, we certainly got you covered. We're going to be streaming it live starting at 10 a.m. Just head on over to the link in our bio for all of the details. And there were plenty of other headlines that you might have missed this week. The Chicago Bears made a huge splash when they announced new plans to invest in a new stadium in Chicago. Now, that doesn't mean Arlington Heights is completely out of the picture just yet, and they could face a battle with advocacy group Friends of the Parks, but we'll just have to wait and see. And that wasn't even their only splash. The team also made a ton of headlines with their free agency signings, including one that now has the Bears earning a huge new fan. Our friends at NBC Sports Chicago have all of the details. A massive new Target store is opening at the Six Corners. The city's measles outbreak continues to grow. And in case you forgot, Tuesday is Election Day. You can head on over to the link in our bio for a full voter guide to study up before you hit the polls. All right, so that's it for now, but stay tuned all weekend long as more news develops. Have a great weekend.